under near view, it is mainly dominated by either the E view or the H view. As for far view, typically it will be only plane wave. How can we actually classify near view or far view? You can actually see from this diagram here. Basically, this will be the highlight point. Anything less than lambda over 2 pi, we call this near view. Anything more than lambda over 2 pi, we call this far view. This is very important because the shoe, how you attribute the shoe, will depend on whether it is near view or far view. Let's take a close look under the near view. So basically under this near view, this is actually the source. So under the near view, it is actually closest to the source. Okay, so in this region, typically, as I mentioned earlier on, it mainly dominate by either the E view and H view, and they are actually independent. And hence, because of this, they actually behave differently. And we need to design our shield based on the source also, which I will further elaborate. As for far view, okay, basically the E view and the H view, they basically merge and they basically has an impedance of 377 ohm. And therefore, because of this, we only have the plane wave under the far view. Again, why this is important? Okay, because when we actually build a shield, we need to know the source, whether it is a high impedance E view, whether it is a low impedance H view. Okay, so basically this is under the near view or a plane wave. Okay, so basically how the shoe okay, behave will be depending on the source. Next, I'd like to further discuss how can we actually shoot at low frequency. At low frequency, let's say below one megahertz, you can imagine that the lambda will be very huge and this line will move further right. So therefore under the low frequency, typically, near view will be dominate as this line is moving further away so therefore at low frequency the near view will be dominate this is where shielding is the most challenging and actually may have some big issue especially at low frequency magnetic view let's quickly discuss how can we actually shield against low frequency electric view okay as if you they actually has high impedance and basically because of impedance mismatch most of the shielding actually work through reflection. Okay, so you don't have any big issue when you actually want to shield against low frequency electric field. However, the issue is low frequency magnetic field. We know that absorption okay, is actually not ideal at low frequency. Absorption is only ideal at high frequency. Hence, at low frequency magnetic field, okay, the reflection is not effective, absorption is not effective. Hence, in order to shield against low frequency magnetic field, we need to diverge them away. As for high frequency, okay, because high frequency, this thing will be closer to the source. Hence, it is mainly dominated by far field. As for far field, the shielding will be easier. 